can see it. Yeah. All right, welcome to Talking Shop. We are back at it. Welcome. Uh, famous, famous, famous parable next to uh, yeah. the Good Samaritan. This has to be your. Oh yeah. They probably yeah. buy for one and two the prodigal yeah. son. Uh, from Luke chapter fifteen, we go verses one through three, and then we skip verse and hit verse eleven through the end of the chapter thirty-two. Um, a long text, very familiar, which is going to present some of its own challenges, I think, when we preach it, uh, because everyone kind of knows the story, they think they know it, mm -hmm. uh, but as we will see, this is a story uh, ultimately about the grace and the love of a father um, Amen. Who, who will uh, reach out to two sons, not mm -hmm. just the younger yeah, son, sure. uh, and so... Um, yeah, we should have a good conversation on how we, we see ourselves preaching this and how you might preach it. So take a moment to like and subscribe, and let's get after it. Did I, my Lord, in every way, yet I'm still welcome in the arms of the All right, Luke 15, the parable of the prodigal son. So we go one through three, and then we skip a few things. Pick up at Call verse 11 on to the end of the chapter, 11 to 32. Um, so uh, the setting actually is pretty important, the first few yeah. verses mm -hmm. there, because it, mm -hmm. it helps us not lose sight of what's important in this parable, I think. Yeah. Uh, tax collectors are sinners drawing near to him, and what are they upset about? All kinds of things. Oh, man, this guy's doing <laughs> yeah. it all wrong. This is not what God would want. Yeah. Uh, this man welcomes sinners and eats with them. Eats with them, yeah. which is a huge deal, right? Fraternization, to have a meal with somebody is to count them as equals. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is Paul's whole issue in 1 Corinthians, by the way. But anyway. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, so the issue, yeah. So the, the point here is it's, it's the Pharisees and the scribes grumbling that Jesus yeah. is eating with sinners. Yeah, yeah. that so, he's kind of... So right, kind of like, don't lose sight of that. Right. That's important exactly. right. yeah. as we go forward, right? So yeah. then we jump to the prodigal son uh, parable. It says, there's a man who had two sons. And um, uh, don't forget the man. The man in the middle is the that crucial element that's going to kind of hold oh, yeah. us all together. Yeah. The father, right? Yeah. Um, Pretty prodigal and, himself. And, uh, yeah. I mean, it's a long text. Everyone knows the story. But let's hit some kind of highlights for starters. What is it the younger son really wants? Or what? how explicit is this in the Greek? We may not quite get it always right. in English, but what Lion. is it he's saying of his, to his dad? Yeah. Um, so he's asking, it, it's inheritance, right? I think yeah. it's even uh, uh, give to me what, what my share, right? Right. Um, and then the, the father uh, divides his life yeah. between them. To them, so to the two sons, uh, he divide he divides his life. So the younger son comes and says, "I want my inheritance." Yeah, and um, and the, the the way it's spells out in the Greek is he literally he he divides up his life. Yeah, yeah. right. Now right. now we know okay that's his everything. He's a mass. It's property. These yeah. kind of things, uh, but it's it seems to be like really pointed like. Um, to come to ask for your inheritance before your father has died. Right. Is it's to an essence saying, or tantamount to saying, I wish you were dead. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I could have my stuff. Yeah. Right. I'm I'm no longer wanting to live in your house. I just want the stuff that you can give to me. Right. Yeah. So it's Xing out the relationship with dad for the goods. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yep. Exchanging for the goods, right? Yep. And shockingly. Then the, he leaves. The father does it. Oh, he yes. The father actually yeah. divides, divides his, life. his life. Yeah. Scandalous. Yeah. 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 Scandalous, right. Yeah. Doesn't cast the son out and say, no, you go leave with nothing. You want me dead? You leave. Right. Right. Exactly. Oh, he says, okay. Yeah. And he divides, divides his life. Divides his life. Um, and, uh, and the younger son heads off and does what? Probably young sons with a whole lot of property and money or wants and not to much do. management skill. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, wins the lottery and spends yeah. the lottery. Spends it all. Yep. Yeah. Has a good time, apparently. Yep. Uh, for a while. Um, 
Until what happens? Famine. Famine on oh, the sorry. land. Yeah. Famine, yeah. Famine uh, in the country. He begins to be in need, right? Obviously, resources become scarce. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were translating. It was kind of interesting that uh, usually our English has he hires himself. Right. Uh, but it's it's literally like he, he holds on or he binds himself glues to a local, himself. glues himself yeah. to a local. Yeah. It's like a... So the image, anyway, that we got when we were talking about it was like he's he's a real pest yeah. even yeah. here. He's a right. beggar at this point. Yeah. And yeah. so he's basically... he's. You guys have probably experienced this, right? Where you have that, um, like even at church, we'll have the uh, the beggars that come through, sure. and then they find in here, I'm going to hang on here. Like yeah. these yeah. people are generous, yeah. I'm going to just keep. Right. And, right. Keep. and so, which kind of makes sense in the job he ends up doing. Right. Because he's he's a Jew, he's, uh, he's holding on to this guy, living off of him, and the job he gives him is the job that he kind of uh, uh, wishes he would refuse and sit there for a living. Right. Yeah. Which is Polite feed, way of trying to get rid the of pigs. Him. Yeah. Yeah. So this would be a this would be the most filthy, unclean thing that he yeah. could possibly do. Yeah. Right. And not filthy, unclean the way we think of it. Right. 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 I mean, what does this mean for him to be? Yeah. Well, way? to to be constantly in the uh, in the presence of pigs means it's kind of like the woman with the uh, the uh, oh, flow, flow of blood, blood sure. right? Yeah. It means that you are now separated from everything that is part of your community, part of your tradition, yeah. right? You can't enter into a synagogue or the temple. You you are constantly unclean, and in this in this situation of not being able to reconnect. Yeah. Uh, to those things that you know, so, um, so yeah, he's he's not only destitute, uh, but this is the only way that he has been able to find to survive, and that survival yeah. takes him away from everything that he knows to be good and right. Yeah. And it's not yeah. just that he's now with pigs or those are with unclean animals. It's, it's he's even desiring to share their food. Yeah, he's lusting yeah. after. He their sees food. that even yeah, the, yeah. that which he has called unclean is in a better situation than yes, he is. That's a great yeah. that's yeah. a great point. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then you get this start of verse 17. Uh, this is where things start to change, right? Uh, and it says he uh, he came to himself. Yeah. Um, you had a little bit of, of history on well some images from that. Yeah, so in the in the Hebrew in I think it's Genesis chapter 12 where God comes to Abraham and says, "Go, go to the country, the the land that I will show you," mm -hmm. right? That 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 can actually be translated as go to yourself. Yeah. Um, and so I think there's a I think you could make that connection here. And the idea is is that who you who you are supposed to be is not who you are, right? right. You're you're something different and you need to Get back to that, and so you're supposed okay. to be uh, someone else. You're supposed to be somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And in order to be who you are supposed, you have to be somewhere. And, else. and so right. all that follows after yeah. that little line there, right? He came to himself. Yeah. And in coming to himself, he thinks, "Man, in my father's house, the servants eat well, right? Mm -hmm. They have, they have enough bread. Um, they're not dying of hunger, right?" Yep. So, and this, I, I always enjoy this uh, when preaching this text, is he kind of rehearses his confession. He does. Yeah, yeah, he does. It's, Not, so it's sincere. Yeah. Sure. But it's well rehearsed. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it just, it plays well because I think it, you see that father kind of doesn't care how well rehearsed this yeah. right. is, right? Well, and, and to some extent, I mean, this is a true picture of repentance because it's not just a changing of mind. He's actually turning and going back to the father. Right. And in that turning, even recognizing I am not worthy to be who I used to be, yeah. right? Yeah. I'm turning to the only one who I know will show me mercy, and yet I acknowledge that I, don't I am not in a position yes, to deserve that. But he's still all. not coming to himself That's because true. he is the father's the, son, the son of the father. and That's he doesn't true. want to see himself. He's still, in a sense... In a legalistic relationship of so his own. So it's kind of like own. halfway, he's halfway there. Yeah, yeah. Right? but it yeah. takes the father the will carry with him the there. Father. That's right. Yeah, that's very good. Let's preach that. Yeah. Well, and <laughs> you don't know that. I mean, again, going back to repentance, you don't know that until you actually turn yeah. to the father. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Very good. Right. So he, so he has this, and is is well rehearsed, right? I've sinned against heaven. Yeah. 
before yeah. you. I'm not worthy to be called your son. Like, yeah. I mean, he gets it. Uh, treat me as your treat me as servant. one of your higher servants. I just yeah. want to be there because they're better off than where I am, right? Yeah. Uh, and he ro- he arises and he goes. And his father, and again, the father is the hero in this story yeah. through and through, right? Yeah. yeah. The father sees him a long way off. Yeah. yeah. And what does he do? He's filled with compassion. He goes to him. Goes to Which him. Which is also important. Yes. When it comes to the other son. The other son. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, he goes to him. And there's always been this picture um, of in order to see him at a far distance, there's, there's almost this idea that he was looking for him. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That every day he walked out of his house yeah. and looked down the road to where his son had left and said, yeah. is he coming back today? Yeah. yeah. Right. So he sees him. He runs to him. Right. He knows this is my son. He falls about his thing. I mean, the yeah. love yeah. is just yeah. pouring out of this yeah. father. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, he starts his well-rehearsed confession. Right. right? Again, does, sincere. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But well-rehearsed. Yeah. And uh, and in most English translations, anyway, it cuts it short uh, in the in the response. Yeah. Um, is he is he doesn't let him get all the way through. Right. Uh, yeah. And he simply he starts he speaks directly to the servants. To the servants. The and that, was, servants. that is one interesting thing. Even if you have a translation where the where he says, "I treat I, me as a hired servant," yeah. that the the father doesn't turn to the son and say, "Okay." Instead, he turns to the servants. Yeah. The father's not recognizing says, him in that relationship exactly, with servant. Exactly. Master, absolutely. Right? And so father, he's, son. he turns to the servants, says, "You know, let, let's let's get him clothed. Let's bring the signet yeah. ring." This. You know he's being restored as a son. Yeah, right? yeah. Uh, yeah. And then and then let the the feast begin. Bring the right? coat of many colors. Yeah. Put the symbol yeah. of the of the uh, family on his hand. Right. Yeah. I Just mean, powerful, wonderful, yeah. wonderful. The celebrations all around. You get that great line. This my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and was found, and they began to celebrate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Boom. And that's huge wonderful, joyous celebration, and off in the fields over there, doing his job the way he's always done it. Being very faithful, yeah. Is yeah. the older son. Is the right. older son, right? Press brooder on. <laughs> and, the elder, uh, yes. And the he hears son. about this. Mm-hmm. He already hears what's going on first. There's yeah. celebration, clearly. And wondering why he's not involved. So what's going on over yeah. there? Ask one of the servants. The servant tells him, hey, your brother's come. And your dad killed the fattened calf, <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, because he's received him back. Uh, he's well. He's safe. And right? the brother so, joined in the rejoicing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. And so this is w- really, this is why that the intro is good. Because mm-hmm. with the, the Pharisees and the scribes being angry or upset right. or appalled in some way that Jesus yeah. is eating with with sinners and tax yeah. collectors. Yeah. Um, they are in this regard the older brother. Yes. Yeah. Right. There he yeah. is. They're celebrating that the the prodigal son has returned. Um and he's he's upset. And he, and you you see how upset yeah. he really is. Yeah, and and in this parable, Jesus kind of almost calls them out uh because it appears and, and you can go different ways with this son. Why is he so upset, right? Is he upset because he's been faithful and he sees his unfaithful brother? And uh, and and is wondering why he's getting treated the same way, but but the fattened calf keeps coming up. Yeah, and so you almost have that the brother, the older brother, coveted the possessions of the father just as much as the son, yeah. the the younger son. Right, mm-hmm. right. Oh, that fattened calf. Yeah, maybe it'll be mine one day. Yeah, mm-hmm. and and now you have this. What he was hoping would be his is now given, given to the to, younger son. To the, and he feels like he's gotten the raw end of the yeah. deal. So he had, his, of course, his own form of legalism. Sure. Yeah. I've been putting in my time. This is what I deserve yeah. for everything I have done. Absolutely. Yeah. And you uh, gave it to him. Yeah. 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 And yeah. he's not deserving. Yeah. Not only did you give and him so, his portion, but now you gave him part of my so portion. And so just too. like this goes to what you were saying before, just like as the father goes out to the younger son as right. he's on the path. Yeah. So the father, once again, yeah. goes out. This man, his love abounds. Yeah. Right? He yeah. goes out to the to the older son, um, finds him there in the field, um, and uh, and entreats him to come in. Yeah, right? invites him in. Come, come, celebrate. Yeah, 
Uh, he's not so happy. And then he he's upset and says, yeah. yeah, not only did you not give me the fattened calf, you haven't given me anything to celebrate and I've with been my slaving for you yeah. all these years. <laughs> slaving. It's, it's so, almost yeah, that, the, you know, if, we're, if you're going to use that picture of the scribes and the Pharisees, it's not so much the scribes and the Pharisees are upset that Jesus is, is receiving sinners and eating with them. It's like, he should be doing that with us. Yeah. We've been faithful. We've put in yeah. our time. God calls us righteous. Here's the Son of God come, and He's going with them instead yeah. of us. And then, and you see that even here that um, the distancing of the brothers, right? He yeah. says that son of yours, yeah. right, 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 not my brother, right, right. right? There's yeah. no like yeah. love lost there. Yeah. It's literally he's he's saying, why are you doing this? Um, uh, you know, and giving it to him, right? You yeah. kill the fan cat for him, right? And, and the father again, the mercy is, and he incredible. won't recognize the language of that son, the no. older son. He says this. He goes back to in verse thirty-two. Yeah. He goes back to this brother of yours. Your brother has yeah. is was dead and is alive again. Yeah. Yeah. So he's trying to love everyone yeah. unconditionally. The fattened calf is yeah. for him, and yeah. the fattened calf yeah. is for you. Come enjoying yeah. the celebration. Right? You are all yeah. with me. All that is mine is yours. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, uh, come and come and celebrate it. Yeah. Celebrate that they're coming and celebrate that yeah. he's eating with sinners. Celebrate yeah. this. I mean, this is right. the the call here. Um, because the celebration isn't just, or the the father's desire isn't just for everybody to come into the house. And again, going back to brothers and all that, it's for a restored relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's that it's that that has been lost. Right. which is the connection to each other. Right. Uh, because again, the father doesn't care about his goods. He gave yeah, them clearly. to the son. They're yeah, gone. Yeah. He doesn't ask him when he came back, hey, where's my stuff? Yeah, did you have right? Since you're coming back, do you, do you <laughs> yeah. have the rest of my stuff? Yeah. It's you are now my son. You're back in this house. Oh, and by the right. way, your brother seems to be on the outs. Let me go talk to him because we want everybody to be under this yeah. house. And yeah, right? he wants the older son to see that the relationship that he has is father to son with the older son as well. Yeah. Yeah. Because this, the older son said, I've been slaving. He's been looking at himself this whole time as a servant, putting mm. in his time to get mm -hmm. what he can earn. Right. Yeah. And the to father the wants goods. to communicate to both sons. Both of you are my sons. My sons. I am the and father the to end, both. And in the end, they can't do anything without the mercy of the father. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like whether he thinks he deserves it, he still wasn't yeah. getting what he wanted right. unless the father gave it. Yeah. Right? And the son right. who ends up saying, I don't deserve it, yeah. gets things, but it's only because the father's gracious. Yeah. 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 Like it, it's clearly, and the father is this one of great abundance and love, yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, which just pours out of this text, which is why it's such a powerful image and people yeah. love it. Yeah. Um, and right. to some extent, you know, it is fitting to celebrate and be glad for your brother was dead. It's almost one of those things that the, the worse the... The worse the younger son has fallen, the more important it is for the father to show him, no, you're part of this house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Whereas the older son, to some extent, has always felt like he's part of this sure. house. And and so, but under the, the wrong yeah. Yeah. understanding. So to some extent, the greater the the transgression, the more sure. the grace is yeah, needed yeah. in order to to yeah. elevate. So well, I, sin about I would grace say, uh, much more about. Mm -hmm. You know, and I would just I would encourage people if they're preaching this. Um, uh, it's easy, or I would say it this way: it's typical, probably, for sermons on this text to focus on the younger son mm -hmm. and and to focus on. Um, that side of things, like hey, people who have squandered would they be given? There's still a place for you. There's so, yeah. which is great. Sure, yeah. but that's not all that's sitting in no. the, those pews. You yeah. have a lot of older sons in oh, your yeah. pews, yeah, and and they need to be called out on that too, and invited to the feast. Yeah, as well. yeah feast, absolutely. You know, and yeah. so that that so remember both the sons. I guess would be my big uh, yeah. Uh, Caution and so, to do that, you focus on the grace and the mercy of the, the Father. Father. The Father's the one; He's the key. Yeah. Yeah. Um, great, Fathers. good stuff. Um, take a minute to like and subscribe, and leave any comments bef below on kind of maybe how you're going to preach this text. Things we might have missed. Uh, it's it's a it's a famous one and famous for a reason. It's, uh, it's a big text that kind of carries a lot with it. Um, 
Yeah. We'll see you next week. We're getting to the end of Lent pretty Already. fast. It's moving through. Yeah. But uh, God bless your preaching.